Hello and welcome to the latest video in the Unlocking Behaviour Change series. This video is about the Behaviour Change Wheel, which is a framework for developing and evaluating behaviour change interventions. In the video, I'm going to describe what the Behaviour Change Wheel is and how you can use it to develop behaviour change interventions. The Behaviour Change Wheel is a framework for developing and describing behaviour change interventions in a way that makes best use of theories and evidence. And it forms the heart of a step-by-step -step guide to intervention development and evaluation. The Behaviour Change Wheel uh, was developed on the basis of a comprehensive review of existing behaviour change frameworks, of which we found 19. The first article on the Behaviour Change Wheel was published in a journal called Implementation Science in 2011. And then later, in 2016, we published a book called The Behaviour Change Wheel, A Guide to Developing Interventions, and that uh, produced a more comprehensive look at how you can use the wheel in intervention development. The behaviour change wheel consists of a core, uh, which is uh, the COM-B model, capability, opportunity, motivation, behaviour model, which is a general model of behaviour in terms of understanding how behaviours come about at any particular moment based on the characteristics of individuals in terms of their capability and motivation and the situations in which they find themselves, which is opportunity. Then outside of the core uh, and linked to it are um, nine intervention types. These are broad types of intervention that can be used to change some aspect of capability, opportunity or motivation. And in that list we have education, persuasion, incentivization, coercion, training, enablement, modelling, environmental restructuring and restrictions in no particular order. And then while these intervention types describe what you might conceive of as the content of interventions, you have to deliver them in a particular way. And on the outside of the behaviour change wheel in grey, we have the various what are known as policy options for delivering these interventions. And so there are seven of these, environmental and social planning, communications and marketing, legislation, providing a service, regulation short of legislation, fiscal measures and developing guidelines. And the, uh, these policy options uh, are the ways in which you implement the intervention types such as education. So for example, you could use communication or marketing to educate, you could use guidelines, you could provide a service as in the education service to educate. And with things like coercion, for example, you could legislate so that there are punishments for um, engaging in behaviours that are considered undesirable. Or you could use communications and marketing to set up uh, social norms which make the behaviours unacceptable. So you can see that there will be a mapping from the intervention types to the policy options. The behaviour change wheel itself then links to the behaviour change wheel guide by allowing you to implement three of the parts within that guide. But in addition to those parts, you have some important other parts. First of all, before you can even get started with applying the behaviour change wheel itself, you have to make a decision about what behaviours you're going to target and whose behaviours you're going to target. And then even once you applied the behaviour change wheel to identify your intervention types and policy options, you have to build the intervention. So all you've done with the behaviour change wheel itself is to develop a, a behaviour change strategy, but then that has to be turned into a, uh, a full, fully fledged behaviour change intervention. So you have to build the intervention. And then, of course, you have to implement it and you have to or should disseminate and evaluate it. And 
all of the decision making that you uh, undertake in the whole of this process in the behavior change wheel guide uses a set of criteria which we call the APPEASE criteria. The acronym APPEASE stands for acceptability to key stakeholders, practicability, effectiveness in terms of achieving your overall objectives, affordability, spillover effects, which could be unwanted side effects or they could be positive side effects, and equity, the extent to which whatever it is that you're planning or doing increases or decreases uh, inequalities. Now, those criteria could be applied to any of the decisions you make throughout that process and should be. So the behavior change wheel has five components then. You have the combi model of behavior, which provides your starting point for understanding what uh, causes behaviors and what needs to change in order for those behaviors to change. That then leads to uh, your decisions about broad intervention types, education, persuasion, and so on. That then leads to decisions about how you're going to implement these in terms of policy options, whether it's legislation, regulation, providing a service, or so on. And then you have the two components which link combi to intervention types and intervention types to policy options. That is the mapping of the combi targets to intervention types and the mapping of intervention types to policy options. We undertake what we think of or can think of as a behavioral diagnosis. We, the question is, what will it take to change the behavior from what would have occurred if I didn't do anything to whatever it is that's being desired? And what will need to change will be some combination of capability, opportunity, and motivation. It could be just one of those things, it could be all of them. And to find out what aspects of each of these you need to change, or it's worthwhile changing, then you can ask a number of questions. And here I show uh, some core questions that commonly come up in addressing that issue. For example, just to begin with, to what extent is your target audience aware of the behavior even? Do they even know that it's a thing? And do they know precisely what constitutes it? How well do they know how to do it? How well do they understand the benefits of doing it or the costs of not doing it? All of the questions here uh, are aimed to assess some aspect of, of capability, whether it's their physical capability or their psychological capability. When it comes to opportunity, Again, there's a number of questions you can ask. If we think about social opportunity, the environment, social environment in which we live, then very important issue is how far is the behavior just considered normal? How normative is it with their family, within their peer group and within the wider society? How far are there formal rules for stipulating the behavior? How much support do they have in their social networks to enact the behavior? What kind of prompts, cues and reminders are there for them to uh, enact the behaviour? Can they afford it? Do they have the time to do it? Do they have the resources and so on? And then when it comes to motivation, the question is slightly different because with motivation, it's always a question of how motivated a person is to do a particular behaviour versus something else. So what we're interested in is how motivated can we um, get people to be to do a particular behavior versus something else that they could be doing at the same time. And the sorts of questions we might ask are how worthwhile do they think it is? How much enjoyment or satisfaction do they expect to get from it? How far could it be provoked by an emotion or a drive state? And how far do they expect it to meet a need that they have or a role that they need to fulfill? Uh, how well does it feel, fit with their self-identity, which is a very, very important driver of motivation? How strong are their intentions? How far can it be uh, um, turned into a habit or a routine? And thinking about this issue of motivation always being about priority, how strong a priority is it over other things they could be doing? And then when it comes to thinking about the intervention types, we have to consider what intervention types are going to be appropriate or best suited to um, delivering what we want in terms of the combi targets, the changes in capability, opportunity, and motivation that we're interested in. And so we have education, for example, which is informing, explaining, 
and showing in order to increase knowledge and understanding. We have persuasion, which is about highlighting, arguing, discussing, proposing, requesting, pleading, or helping to imagine in order to influence attractiveness. We have incentivization, which is introducing some kind of payment or an extrinsic reward of some kind. Uh, could be a social reward, uh, could be physical reward, or expectation of a desired outcome for a given behavior. We could have coercion, which is kind of the other side of the coin for reward, which is introducing a cost or an expected negative outcome, either to prevent a behavior or to induce someone to enact a behavior in order to avoid it. We have training, which is demonstrating, supervising, providing feedback and supportive practice in order to improve mental or physical skills or build habits. We have restriction, which is creating boundaries around what behaviors are and are not acceptable by setting rules. And we have environmental restructuring, uh, which would be introducing, removing or altering objects in the physical environment or shaping the social environment to prompt facilitate or prevent behaviours. We have modelling, which involves providing examples of behaviour for people to aspire to or to imitate. And then finally, we have enablement, which is providing or improving psychological, social or physical resources or treatments to support enactment of a given behaviour. When it comes to policy options, there are seven of these. And again, we can think about how they would be mapped onto from the intervention types. So we have creating and disseminating guidelines, which involves writing instructions and advice, uh, and then mounting a campaign to get these accepted and put into practice. Uh, we have communications and marketing, which involves using print media, correspondence, broadcast media, social media, um, uh, or other means to present text and images uh, and some of, in some cases, communications and marketing offer an opportunity for interaction. We may provide a service, so for example, providing staff and resources such as mobile applications to support and enforce behaviour change. Uh, we have environmental and social planning, which involves using formal planning mechanisms to create supportive environments, uh, whether they be physical or social. And then we have fiscal measures, which are financial rules, um, uh, for example, uh, uh, financial incentives, tax incentives, and so on, um, to pro provide either incentives or disincentives for a particular behaviour. We can enact regulations short of legislation, uh, creating and applying rules with sanctions for breaking them, for example, or by um, organisations that don't actually have the power to legislate, but do have the power to regulate with their own kinds of sanctions if needed. And then we have uh, legislation, which is the enactment and enforcement of laws, for example, um, to set up punishments for engaging in behaviours that uh, we deem to, the society as a whole deems to be um, undesirable. So in summary, what we have with the behaviour change wheel is an overarching framework for building a strategy based on theory and evidence. And then that provides the heart of a step-by-step -step guide to taking um, intervention developers from the very, very initial concept and problem statement to the completed intervention. And we also have a way then, if you think about the intervention types, the policy options and the combi model of characterising interventions that have already been developed so that we can compare them and the evidence uh, generated from whether they're effective or not in order uh, to be able to synthesise that evidence and gather information so that we can build better and better models of how to change behaviour.